Israel is becoming increasingly assertive in its strikes and raids, allegedly against Iranian positions, on Syrian soil. This is more than likely owed to the fact that US activity is at a low point following Joe Biden's inauguration. Israel feels threatened by the slim possibility that the Iran nuclear deal will be revived. As such, it is left to fend for itself, and it appears to be doing so quite ferociously. In the late hours of February the 3rd, the Israeli military launched a large-scale attack on southern Syria. The Syrian Arab Army General Command said that air-to-ground and ground-to-ground -ground missiles were launched in a heavy barrage. According to local sources, the barrage targeted Damascus International Airport, Meze Military Airport, a Syrian Arab Army base near the district of Kiswa, and a series of military sites in Daraa and al Qanitra. The Syrian military says that some of the missiles were intercepted, others caused only material damage. Israel's primary targets in the region are Iranian positions or those of pro-Iranian groups and proxies. This includes Hezbollah targets to limit the effort of its Lebanese neighbor. It's plain to notice what has changed in the most recent attack. It was launched from Israeli soil. In usual practice, the Israeli Air Force encroaches on Lebanese airspace to carry out its raids. On February the 3rd, however, an Israeli drone was targeted by a Hezbollah anti-aircraft missile. This is a rare occurrence, even if it only targets a drone. It means that the airspace encroachment is becoming more dangerous. This is a testament to Hezbollah's increasing capability in limiting Israel's freedom of action. The increasing Israeli activity in both frequency and scale are providing a window of opportunity to ISIS terrorists throughout Syria, and predominantly in Homs and Deir Ezzel.